just going to do a quick look at my hive setup. It's the end of April. I've just taken off the tar wrap that I had used this winter. It's a pretty mild winter. As you can see, I have a ventilated roof. Underneath that is a quilt above the hive box. There's no upper entrance at all. Just a bottom entrance. This hive has a solid bottom board, whereas this one and a few of the others I have have a removable screen bottom board. I took the screen up for the winter, so this just opens up to a tray that the bees have access to right now. So not a lot of bottom insulation, but top insulation, and you can see the wood is two inch lumber, which adds up to about 1.5 inches once they sell it to you. So there's a little extra insulation on the sides in addition to the tar wrap I put on for winter. I'm not sure I really need the tarp wrap, but I've been doing it. Anyway, there's somewhere just two boxes. A few were four. Most of them were four actually, and just that one was three. And it does look like they're all alive. They're square boxes with an inner cavity of 288 millimeters by 288 millimeters. Just slightly less than a worry size, which um, means you could put these boxes on a standard size worry properly and it would work fine. I just made them a little deeper to be more in line with uh, the, well, the sizes they sell wood at rather than the round metric numbers which doesn't really seem to apply to the wood we get. So... Basically, they all seem to have survived. Even these little small ones, which were splits I made in the middle of June or so. So at least in a mild winter it appears upper ventilation in uh, southern Ontario isn't really necessary. When I checked the, the bottom board trays when it was still frozen out, I would sometimes see a bit of ice. But I never really saw many dead bees. So it makes me feel that water wasn't dripping on the cluster. I could show you a bit of my quilt setup. Well, there's Sometimes I store things in the gap here, but it's a gap and it's solid to what's below. There's no vent holes for my quilt box. This is all totally sealed. If I lift that off, you have a better sense of what my quilt looks like. And for me, this is really for insulation. I've never felt this to be wet. Part of that is that under it I have a top bar cloth and this top bar cloth was there all year and the quilt box stays there all year and part of why not, water isn't going to come up here is that's all propolized making a pretty uh, vi impermeable vapor bar barrier. So really it's natural insulation that that's adding. Don't have to buy styrofoam, you could usually find stuff or just use the what's left over from hive building 
This one has straw, but most of it is, uh, most of the time I use uh, sawdust. And then the Varroa killed them all off, and then I kind of started the whole obsession all over again, trying to figure out what to do about the fact that all, the, all my bees were dying. And so I got more and more colonies trying to come up with you know, you come up with all these experiments. The thing about beekeeping is it takes you years